Hello and welcome back to Retro Pixel Castle. Last time, we continued to build up our town with a nice stone cuttery, a mining facility, and a bunch of bills. Just so many individual stone golems named Bill. It's the best. So, if I recall, our defenses actually held pretty well last night, which was nice. I mean, there's still work to be done, but for now, we don't have to focus too hard on that. Oh yeah, and it's summer now, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if that's going to go well for us, or if it's going to go really terribly, because we only have 44 food to go between 25 people. Look, I'm sure they'll figure it out. Let's just... Let's just build a lumber mill. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. There we go. There's a lumber mill. Guys, get to work. We're definitely also going to need some additional bow towers and probably those walls that we mentioned previously, but you know, those walls are way overrated. Bow towers are going to be the way to go from here. So, yeah. So they're going to get to work on that lumber mill and let's actually set up this future defensive position. We're going to use these sturdy walls. Um, sturdy walls are made of stone. They're stronger than wood walls. Crazy. Stone is stronger than wood. Ridiculous! But anyway. Um, these stone walls have the bonus of being able to be shot over by turrets. Which this next level, the, the uh, strongest walls, can't actually be shot over by turrets. Which is never really a good thing. I would prefer to be able to shoot over things. That is wrong. This is wrong. No. Disgusting! No, we will not have protrusions in our defensive line, thank you very much. We are going to build simple, straight walls with which the enemies will have to, of course, run their sad little bodies through, trying desperately to hopefully kill us, but I mean, in reality, they're never going to succeed at that. That's ridiculous. So that's going to be the wall system. They're going to have to come down this single little corridor. And of course, as they come down the corridor, the uh, million bills that we have here are just going to clog them up in there and they're going to get shot to death by bow towers. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Oh, right. We were building a forge, weren't we? Oh, I completely forgot about the forge. Is anyone actually working on the forge right now? Is anyone working on anything? Oh no, everyone's like almost suffering from heat stroke. That is a thing. Now that it's summer, it's really hot and the people have to, you know, go back to their homes every now and again and cool down. Because I guess they have like air conditioners in their tents. You know, I, I haven't heard of many tents that have air conditioners. I mean, props to these people if they're so technologically advanced that even their tents have air conditioners, but... I'm a bit skeptical on that one. I don't know. Maybe they just keep chunks of ice in their basement. That'd be great. They just come back home, just like lay a towel on their forehead and then just drop like a two-ton hunk of ice on them. Ah, uh, cools you down right away. It's the best. It's not actually the best. I do not recommend attempting to drop uh, multiple ton blocks of ice on anyone. Unless you really feel like it. I'm not going to stop you. I'm just going to recommend that probably you shouldn't do that. Okay, so we have 13 of our nice little golems doing their work. I mean, it's just the daytime. This is just standard, like, trickling attacks. Basically, these um, terrible houses hold, as you can see, up to 16 of these headless dudes. And at night, all 16 come out and walk in a line to try to kill us. That's why those houses are so bad. And I mean, I deploy the golems, but there's actually technically no way to deploy the golems. Right now, they just chill out, killing things back at home. We can't really go on the offensive. It's kind of unfortunate. But I mean, I could rain fire on them. It's pretty effective. I do enjoy raining fire. Oh, okay, things are just moving along. Have they cut down all the wood? Oh no, we've still got some wood commands over here. Kind of seems like we're going to need to get more wood harvesting underway. Because, I mean, this is the basic resource that we're working with. If we don't have enough wood, then um, quite frankly, our entire civilization will come to a sand standstill. And probably more to the point, the bowyer will stop producing arrows, and that will be terrible. Are you guys doing well? Who is this? Oh, hey, it's Shea. That's Shea Shea. I believe that's the mother of the Shea who was born last episode. 
She appears to come from the uh, lowly and disgusting peasant lineage of the builders, which is rather unfortunate. I'm going to bet that Shea... Oh, wait, did Shea become a cook? I think Shea might have become a cook. I mean, that would be a massive upgrade from being the uh, daughter of a peasant builder. That's amazing. I mean, if there's one thing to be said about the current civilization we have, it's that anyone can be whatever they want to be. If you're born as a peasant dirt child of a builder, you know, you don't have to remain the constant uh, peasant dirt child of a builder. You can decide, you know what? I want to be a cook. And then if we allow you to be a cook, you will be a cook. I mean, it's really sort of a communist society, really. If we need you to do something, you're going to do it. And um, quite frankly, there's not going to be any other options involved in that. You're either going to like your job or you're going to have a terrible life. Oh yeah, there's Jennifer Shea. She is in fact a cook, no longer a dirt peasant child. And as a bonus, she gets to be really like uptight with her parents because of course her parents remain dirt peasant children. And of course, all builders are dirt peasant children at all points in their life, regardless of how old they are. It's just kind of, it, it's basically builder is dirt peasant child, but um, you know, dirt peasant child is just more fun to say. Uh, we just rained some fire on those guys, and I think we might have saved a couple bills here. I mean, I say that, but th these guys are going to get swamped by slimes. I'm sorry, bills. I mean, I tried my best. I can't tell if there's one or two of you there. It's hard to see. They can stand right over each other because they have, like, extra dimensional abilities. It's so good. Uh, are we going to get this forge done at any time? I mean, I know I told you guys to build like a hundred things on top of building the forge, but that's no excuse to not building the forge at, at a decent rate. Should probably pause the lumber mill until that's done. Everyone, cease your construction of the lumber mill. The forge is the number one important thing to build right now. Not because it's number one important to our survival. In fact, it's actually basically not important to the survival at all. We won't actually technically be able to use the forge. I mean, we'll be able to make steel, but we won't be able to turn that steel into anything useful until we get a tool smithy. So, I mean, uh, maybe we should have paused the forge, but it's only five rocks away from being done. That's like when you're building a house and you just have to, like, I don't know, stick a few stones in the wall that apparently you didn't stick in the wall earlier. Generally, you should build a wall from, like, the bottom up, but on occasion, people decide to just leave holes and fill them in later. I don't judge these people. They can do what they want to do. I'm just going to break their wall down when I find it. That's how life goes. Okay, so the new person who just grew up, whoever that was, I don't really care. I mean, these people aren't all that different. They pretend to be little individuals like Joseph Moreland. Um, he believes that he was originally born in a place called um, Morlandia, which was named, of course, after his prestigious royal family of Moreland. Unfortunately, Joseph Moreland doesn't realize that um, Morlandia doesn't exist, and he's suffering from a serious case of, like, psychosis and uh, false history. So, unfortunately, poor Joseph Moreland is living a lie. And I would argue that the vast majority of these people are living a similar lie to Mr. Joe Moreland. Although, I mean, I guess we could give Joe Moreland the honorary title of Duke. I don't know where he went. Is that you, Joe Moreland? No. That would be Bruce Westerman, which is a pretty cool name, but not quite. There he is, Joseph Moreland. You are now Duke Moreland. Unfortunately, Duke is nothing but an honorary title, but you can pretend that you are of an actual royal lineage now because you've at least got a title. There we go. We've made the civilization slightly better by instating some form of feudal landlord system. I don't really know if that's going to help or if that's going to hurt people, but we'll see. We'll see. We also got the forge up. And unfortunately, there happens to be... Oh, there's one piece of nice iron chunk there. Um, can we get anyone to actually start working that furnace? I mean, the iron won't be useful immediately, but if we just let the iron sit there and degrade, which 
items that are just sitting out on the ground will eventually just disappear, then I would say that's a lot worse of a use of just, like, um, iron than smelting it when, you know, technically we don't need it. Ooh, check it. There's a ration. I think that got dropped by some, by one of the evil dudes. So let's just bring this stuff in here so our people can use it. Because we, of course, don't want them to go all the way outside to pick this stuff up. That'd be terrible. They'd be mobbed by terrible skeletons all the way along. And I'd say it just wouldn't be good for their health overall. So there you go. Who is that? Enik Wills has just put on a zombie chest plate and is thereby about to be ostracized from the society and probably burned it for being a witch. And although mostly an honorary title, the bonus of being a duke here is that you do get to light the pyre when we burn witches. So I hope that um, our nice little Duke of Moreland, I'm sorry, Duke of Morlandia, is happy with lighting funeral pyres. I guess it's technically not a funeral pyre. It's a it's a witch burning pyre. Is that a technical type of pyre? I'm pretty sure it is. I hope he's happy with um, this particular variety of pyre because um, he's going to have to light it. Poor Duke of Morlandia. Schneider, you making iron? Are we going to get our first nice piece of iron ingot? Oh, please. Please, Schneider. There we go. The first iron ingot has been stored up. The forge is working. And that iron ingot will sit there for now doing absolutely nothing and being of absolutely no particular use to anyone. Uh, I mean, I guess we could, like, tie a rope to the ingot and then use it as, like, a sling. Not really a sling, but I guess some sort of, like, whip weapon to just smash the zombies' faces in. But that would also require a villager going into battle. And I don't know if you've seen the golems. They have amazing names like Vladimir and Bill and Bill and Bill and Bill, but they're not actually intelligent enough to use weapons, so it kind of makes things a bit complicated. I mean, they're not going to be able to use the iron ingot on a string. It's quite sad. So how's everyone doing so far? We're mostly working on the lumber mill, sort of working on the wall. We could definitely use more defenses. Oh, and this bow tower is in pretty bad shape. I didn't think about that. That is a bad thing. Um, if we wanted them to actually repair the bow tower, we would have to basically pause all the building because they have a higher priority of actually building new things and repairing old things. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but you know, it's how they work. It's how they live and it's how they do. I can't really argue with it too much. So we just got the lumber mill running. Nice wall. Of course, it is nighttime, which is terrible. I mean, there's going to be a lot of evil creatures. Can we see a ton of evil creatures? I mean, that's just like... That's a pretty standard small quantity of creatures. I'm not too concerned about that, but I would expect there's hordes of death coming at some point. Has everyone vacated this area? Not quite yet. They're waiting to unleash their hordes of death at the proper time. Which I don't like. I prefer that they just throw them out at the improper time and thereby not effectively use their resources, but... Ends up the denizens of the night are in the very least smart enough to use basic swarm tactics. That is unfortunate. I didn't want that. How sad. Did you just equip yourself with a ration? I totally did. A single ration of mushed carrots. Delicious. Alongside the, uh few actual raw carrots that she happens to be holding. That is a delicious meal. Well-rounded, too. All the vital nutrients of carrots in one single meal of carrots. Uh, it's a good thing they don't have actual, like, you know, health sy systems in this. Or else these guys would be malnourished while well, heck. Does anyone want a med kit? Because whoever gets that med kit first, I don't know, is going to become... The Duchess of Morlandia? Unless it's a guy, whereas then you get nothing. Because, oddly enough, guys can't be duchesses. It's a gender-specific title. I'm sorry, it's a thing. Is no one even going to pick up the med kit? That might be a thing. I mean, nobody's injured. I mean, I hope nobody's injured. Nobody should be injured, because, I mean... 
Nobody should be out here fighting terrible creatures. I guess no one's gonna pick it up because nobody's hurt. So nobody wants to be the Duchess of Morlandia. I see how it is. I'm sorry, Morland. You're not going to get a Duchess. He's quite sad now. He's actually very sad. He's almost to the point of depressed. I would find him, but I have no clue where he is. It's very hard to find any singular person out here. I mean, there is only 25 of them. That being said, 25 is a lot. There he is, Joseph Moreland. I just realized that Joseph Moreland is also a disgusting dirt child. Ugh, ends up, you can be a disgusting dirt child and at the same time be royalty. What a, this is such a progressive society. I never expected this out of these people. I mean, I thought they were all savages wearing zombie breastplates, forgetting how to eat, like, most of the time. But ends up, they are very forward thinking. I guess there is actually a good reason why we should maintain this civilization against the terrible creatures of the night. Because I'm pretty sure these guys are not, like, forward thinking. I'm not even certain that slimes think. I don't know if there's a brain in there. It's hard to tell. I mean, if I actually stood next to it, it wouldn't be, because it's, like, transparent, so you could just see the brain, but, you know. Anyway... For now, that will bring us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, the nice town with the Duke of Moreland shall continue into the future. We'll finish our lumber mill, which is taking forever because it's a huge building. And then begin reinforcing our defenses a bit more. So until then, thanks for watching and of course, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>